So the SCSI 2SD came in also today. I forgot to mention that. Maybe. Can't remember anymore. Uh, just formatted it. Uh, make sure that when you get this, you plug it into your computer and use the uh, SCSI 2SD utils program before you plug it in so you can set it up. Uh, you don't want to plug it in and have this thing think it's the wrong size. It's just kind of running out of the keyboard here. Uh, I'll open it up in just a second and show you where to plug it in and uh, make sure you put it on SCSI ID 0. It's the only one that I'm sure is open. Uh, I don't know what the flash uh, floppy disk drive is and I don't know what uh, and, but I do know that drive 6 or SCSI number 6 is unavailable so definitely don't put it on 6. Okay and in what may be the last step in this thing until I figure out a better case I have uh, I've cut a couple of holes in a tape de or a tape cassette box and just kind of fed this thing through it. Um, it's pretty solid in here. It's not going to move around, but I'd like to get a mount that will actually hold it to the uh, the standoffs. For now, it's pretty good though. It works, and I'm going to close it up now. And I don't know what else to do. I I'd like to make some wooden end caps. That might be like an addendum to the series, but that's pretty much it. I'll show one more clip with it working it on, and then I'll be done. Before I closed it up, I almost forgot that I had to fix some squeaky keys uh, that were particularly bad. So I've taken this middle section of keys out. I just kind of line them up here. Um, I'm going to use some Vaseline, as uh, instructed by uh, that Kurzweil guy. I'll try to link to his video again if I forgot it the first time. And uh, I'm just going to put them on all the red felts that were squeaking, and uh, then I'll seal it back up. Because this should be the last thing I have to do.